cavalry proceeds past uh, Sarah Hughes, our royal correspondent, who's there. Yeah, what an incredible sight, Lisa. The household cavalry arriving here outside Westminster Abbey as part of a full dress rehearsal for the royal wedding on Friday. They have made their way from the Knightsbridge Barracks past Buckingham Palace up here to Westminster Abbey. The carriages are arriving as well here at Westminster Abbey. A little bit earlier on we saw uh, the cars pulling up and actually you can just see through uh, one of the doorways of Westminster Abbey uh, the uh, Rolls-Royce uh, emerging again. They pulled up the Rolls-Royce Phantom 4 which uh, will transport Catherine Middleton and her father Michael to Westminster Abbey pulled up at 11 o'clock as the bells of Westminster Abbey chimed at 5 a.m. really I mean here but that represents 11 o'clock on Friday the 29th uh, and uh, that pulled up right on time they are working to a military schedule here and the household cavalry have just arrived here to rehearse that procession some 160 horses in total will escort uh, Prince William and his new bride Catherine uh, back from Westminster Abbey to Buckingham Palace and also providing a sovereign's escort for the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh who will be traveling in one of the carriages now if the weather is fine on Friday then uh, William and Catherine Catherine will be travelling in the 1902 State Lando. It's an open carriage and that will give people a wonderful view of them as they uh, travel along the route back to their reception. If it's not fine, however, they'll be travelling in the glass coach and uh, that is famously was used to transport Diana, Princess Diana, to St Paul's Cathedral for her wedding. Uh, the Ascot Landos, you'll recognise those. They take part in the parade at Ascot every year. They'll carry the best man, the maid of honour, uh, Catherine's sister, Pippa Middleton, the bridesmaids and the page boys back. And there'll be uh, semi-state landers carrying the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh, the Prince of Wales, the Duchess of Cornwall and Mr and Mrs Middleton in that parade. Some 160 horses. Uh, they've been up since the very early hours this morning, grooming them, polishing the harnesses uh, to make sure everything is absolutely spectacular. Uh, so gathered outside Westminster Abbey now, as if the service were going on at this moment and they will be waiting until the bride and groom emerge and take their part in the carriages, take their places in the carriages to take part in that procession. We've also got the street liners from the Royal Navy who are lining the road here outside Westminster Abbey. Representatives of all of the armed forces will have a role on the day and a select few have been chosen to line the path outside Westminster Abbey to be the very first to congratulate Prince William and Catherine Middleton as they emerge from the Abbey after their wedding ceremony. And those have been selected because they have some connection with Prince William, perhaps having served with him uh, throughout his military career. Sarah, you mentioned uh, more than 100 horses taking part in the parade, uh, but there's still nine horses that aren't exactly sure of the part that they'll play or whether or not they will actually get to be part of the Royal Cavalry. Yes, uh, obviously it's all about how the horses are behaving and uh, how they're judged to be uh, in terms of their temperament on the day because the horses they're selecting uh, need to have a calm temperament, they need to be uh, able to react of course to the huge crowds that are going to be here on the day so they will be selecting them. We've been given a few details of some of the horses. We were initially told that two of the horses who would be taking part in the escort would very fittingly be William and Catherine. Unfortunately William I'm told has gone lame and won't be taking part but he'll be replaced by George which is a suitably royal name in itself isn't it but not quite as perfect um, so we will have to wait and see until the last moment and we we'll get final confirmation of which horses will be taking part but a huge honour for them and a huge honour for all of those here today the household cavalry and this is a real sign of their dual role of course they are involved in ceremonial state occasions uh, throughout the year whether that be trooping the colour whether that be the state opening of Parliament. But a royal wedding is something very, very special. Uh, I understand they're all very excited about it and it will be a very, very important day for them as they're out on parade. Certainly will be. Sarah, also, uh, we can see obviously this parade has been, uh, this run through has been taking part in the early hours of the morning and now London's waking up and there's quite a few members of mm. the public there as well uh, and some hardy campers as well. 
Yes, yes, we got here just after four o'clock this morning and there were quite a few tents have appeared over the past couple of days. Some people just in sleeping bags out in the street and I can tell you it's pretty cold actually uh, in the early hours of the morning here outside Westminster Abbey. The roads have all been closed off to traffic to allow this procession to go take place and that of course is why it happens in the early hours of the morning to minimise the disruption uh, to London. But uh, quite a few people have been uh, turning up and appearing quite a few tourists we've seen there are flags waving I and mean, it really is quite a sight to behold and gives us a real sense of what we'll be seeing on the day of course the crowds will be considerably larger uh, in two days time but uh, this certainly whetting our appetites for the big day it certainly is and uh, you mentioned it's quite chilly there at the moment of course the weather will play a huge part on the day Yes, it really will, because of course the crowds are going to be out here for many, many hours and it will be pretty miserable if it's pouring with rain and we know that some rain is forecast for Friday. Um, but it will also make a big difference to the procession itself as well and what we can see, because as I was mentioning, there is a choice of carriages uh, for Prince William and Catherine and uh, that will either be the 1902 State Lando or the glass coach. Now if they're in the glass coach, of course they are enclosed, they're protected from the elements. There there are lots of windows, that means we will be able to see them, but it won't be the same as that open 1902 state lander, which will give us an absolutely fantastic view of the royal couple. Uh, it was used uh, for Prince Charles to travel to St Paul's. Uh, he returned in it uh, with Princess Diana after his wedding. The Duke and Duchess of York returned from their wedding at Westminster Abbey too in 1986. So we will have to keep our fingers crossed, Lisa, that we do have good weather on the day so we can see as much as possible of the bride and groom. We will indeed. Let's hope for sunshine. Sarah Hughes, thanks very much outside Westminster.